All right, guys, we are gonna smash some face today with a giant body of research token. What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another gameplay video. Today, we have got a spicy one for you. I am stoked for this deck. This is a really cool one. Uh, I did find it on MTG Arena Zone, and I apologize because I do not know the creator uh, offhand. I will try and remember to link them down below if I can go and find them. Uh, I believe their name was John. I know that's like a super standard name, but I believe that was their name. Uh, but again, I'll try and link them down below. They did put their own video out on this, so I cannot take credit for it. But this deck is amazing. The whole idea, the whole idea is to put a body of research either into your hand or your graveyard, play Invoke Calamity, which allows you to play a instant or sorcery spell with total mana value six or less from your graveyard or hand without paying its mana cost. Then you exile them. Uh, you use that to to cast a body of research, and then you play Kazul's Fury to nuke the opponent. <laughs> That's the whole deck. Uh, it's absolutely hilarious. Uh, whenever you can use Galvanic Iteration, so you can use this to kind of copy things and get extra tokens, maybe get in for bigger attacks, things like that. But the whole rest of the deck is essentially about digging for that, ramping into that, and then, excuse me, controlling the game. I just had lunch, so a little burpee. Uh, for uh, controlling the game until you can get to that. Uh, really heavily aligned with red, so you'll see us uh, with some of these pathway lands choose the red side much more often than anything else because we do have to get to four red to be able to ca to, to straight up cast the Invoke Calamity. Uh, Unexpected Windfall will help us out as well as Prismari Command. These give us uh, treasure tokens that we can then, of course, use uh, to, to sack and make whatever color we need, as well as the Celestis, of course, as well. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on the deck deck for this one uh, because that is basically the whole game plan. Uh, if that falters, it is difficult to kind of scrounge your way back in. However, uh, you do have ways to kind of deal some incidental damage with things like burn down the house. Again, the Prismari commands in there, um, a braid and thundering rebuke as well as voltaic surge or, or voltage surge and spike field hazard can deal with a lot of the opposing creatures. Uh, so you're kind of just in a game of like hoping you can get there at that point. Um, but, uh, this is a really, really sick, uh, deck in my opinion. It also does come with a full sideboard, so if you happen to play it on the best of, uh, or traditional best of three ladder, uh, you can certainly try it there as well. But, uh, again, I'll try and remember to, to link the creator <clears throat> down below. Uh, but regardless, guys, this is a very fun deck. We're gonna jump right into it. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, and how do we like this hand? It's an interesting one, but it does ramp us into the Invoke Calamity. It really doesn't do much else, uh, but that's okay. I think we can try this. Uh, we may find that we have to play these out as lands, but I will leave up the Spike Field Hazard turn one just on the off chance we get to use it. Again, we may not, and that's totally fine, but uh, we will do our best. One nice thing about this deck is, while it doesn't necessarily do a great job of finishing the game without the body of research, uh, Invoke Calamity does give you a lot of replayability out of things like Spike Field Hazard, Prismari Commands, things like that. And so there are a lot of opportunities for you to like kind of slowly take things back if you get the, uh, the chance. We are going to lead with this, and we are just going to pass. This does leave up that spike field hazard. Probably not going to be relevant, but you never know. Cool. Um, so I am going to take the opportunity to play this out right now. What this allows us to do is no matter what, play the Celestis on turn three, uh, which I do think is extraordinarily important. Um, and so we're going to definitely shoot for that. Galvanic Iteration, not exactly a great card for us here, to be honest, but we do have the blue, so... Uh, we'll lean towards that. The green does allow you to play the body of research just straight up, uh, which is certainly not a bad thing, but it's very difficult when you're trying to go for one color and then immediately jump to the other. It doesn't work super well. So um, I'll resolve this and just discard the Galvanic iteration. Theoretically, we don't need it, so we'll see. All right. Obviously, that's just a discard from the opponent. The opponent is a little slow. A little slow on their end but you know what that's okay we're here to have fun and blow stuff up with body of research this has always been a card that i really really like uh it's a very beautiful card um but more importantly i think it's a pretty powerful one and so kind of cool to see it uh in an actual deck it's not something you normally see okay cool um so we will go ahead and play this for blue and we will go ahead and play this 
uh, Celestis. And again, we just kind of leave up that spike field hazard and hope for the best. The nice thing too is these body of researches, if they go to the graveyard, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it's kind of okay. Uh, the Invoke Calamity allows us to play them from the graveyard, so it's really not that, that big of a deal. That's a bit of a problem for us, and I'm glad in that case we did put the Galvanic Iteration in the graveyard. Um, this could be a, a particular deck that we're going to struggle against, but we will see. Um, this is kind of nice. So, I think we just pass. Um, do we want to draw and discard a card? We certainly can. We could throw... I don't really want to throw a body of research in the graveyard. There's a world where we just get to invoke Calamity, the body of research, at the end of their turn, and then theoretically just win via attacks. Um, what's kind of nice about this... this so one thing I noted, actually, uh, in before Kamigawa was, was released, I, I named Invoke Calamity my favorite red card uh, for a multitude of reasons, um, one of which being that it, it ups the value of the mana you spend for it. So it costs five, you get to pay, uh, or play something for six. Um, I will take the action. Okay, so we'll just put one of those back. Uh, but on top of that, it also grants instant speed to something that is not normally an instant speed spell. So you'll notice Body of Research is a sorcery. You actually get to cast it at instant speed with Invoke Calamity, which is stupid. Like, that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, again, opponent playing extraordinarily slow here. I'm very curious as to what's going on. Uh, yeah, I really hope they just attack with both. Yeah, okay, cool. Sure. So we do wait till the end step, uh, and my hope is that they can't interact with it in any way, and then we just get to attack for 49 or 48 or whatever it ends up being. So let's see what they actually play here. I'm sure they play something. Yeah, that's cool. As long as they can't play like a removal spell, it's kind of okay. You know what I mean? We do have a world tree in this deck, by the way, which does help with the mana quite a bit play a body of research please don't die please don't die it's a 49 49 at the moment oh that might actually i mean we'll see yes <laughs> so you can see how if you can do that at instant speed you actually just get the attack in at the at the beginning of the next turn so that works great guys let's jump into a game two right away all right guys here we are for game number two uh and how do we feel about this hand it's a little interesting um i don't love it but i think we will keep it uh the question is how do we want to lead um i actually think it's this so this opens up more plays on turn two uh it also means that the untapped land is coming down next so we have options there we do need more land that would be hugely important and beneficial um so excuse me let's hope we can get there um man that was an awesome last game got to just be faced with the 49 49 um land yes all right so again we do want to play on the red end of things and i am just going to keep progressing our own board here uh we could have left up like an abrade but really don't think we need to uh we do have thundering rebuke as well so if they happen to have a planeswalker which I'm guessing this is going to have... I mean, it just looks like Orzhov mid-range. Okay. Exile that card. Okay. Yeah. Check for traps is very good. Uh, curious to see what they actually take here. There's a... Well, we'll see. We will see. Um, I think burn down the house is like the scariest thing right because we could theoretically play that next turn if we peel a land off the top and then that's like an actual threat everything else is very reactive so they may think the galvanic iteration is a combo piece though but it looks like they did take the the burn down the house oh i wish we could do anything with that all right so let's do this uh take the action draw land i mean that's a land Oh, we'll be entering maintenance soon, everybody. Let's see if we can make it before then. Um, this isn't great, to be honest. 
Um, we're a little stuck because we don't have a body of research, but we'll see what happens. Wow. Wow, wow. Uh, okay. Can we just discard those two? So they hit our graveyard, which is not great for us. Um, ooh, okay. So we can just play that, so we just wait. <laughs> Uh, we let them play a discard spell, and then we invoke Calamity. Please don't have a removal spell. Please don't have a removal spell. Please don't have a removal spell. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, boom. <laughs> I love this deck. All right. Two wins, let's go for three. This may be a shorter video because of the maintenance, but let's see if we can get three games in real quick. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Do we decide to keep this? Uh, we do need another land, but if we do get another land, we're really well off. I'm gonna try it. This is a bad keep, truthfully. I would normally not suggest keeping this, but we're gonna try. Mostly in the interest of time because I don't want them to start maintenance as, as I am recording. <laughs> that would be not so good. Uh. Ah, uh, this is a tricky place to be, but I do think we have to... Can't really allow that to, to stick. Um, truthful, truthfully, the correct play is probably to play the Spike Field Hazard as a land. Um, and later on, like Prismari Command, but... I don't think we have the luxury of letting that happen. Um, this is kind of nice, though, so... Let's do this. I think we'll draw two and discard two. Oh no. Um, okay. That's not great. Um, really want that. I also really want a braid. I think it's just the invoke calamity. We've got another invoke calamity in hand, so I feel okay about letting this ha this happen the way it is, but this is not a great place to be. Uh, that's for sure. Okay, land is very helpful. I think we just go for the next turn. So we get to leave up the Abrade here, but I think we're just going for the next turn body of research, right? I mean, that seems good enough, uh, potentially. We'll see, especially if we can play it there in step, you know? All right. They are incentivized to play more stuff up front, which is interesting. This is not so good. Um, this does slow us down a little bit. Um, this just gives us a, a blocker, so we might as well take it. Or no, it doesn't. It wasn't exiled under it yet. Duh. Should have waited. We misplayed there. What we should have done is tap the Celestis and then done the thing, but that's okay. All right. Um, so the play is very clearly we body of research using the invoke calamity and then hopefully just win. Hopefully they don't have too much in terms of, oh, perfect. Yeah, pump a lot into that, please. So the question becomes, do we, they could have a portable hole. So I think we just let this hit as sad as, or as scared. Ah, no, we can't, can we? All right, let's do it. Uh, we really can't let this hit, sadly. Uh, I know this is kind of silly, but the reality is we have to kill something here. In particular, the in particular the Adeline. This does open us up to a portable hole play, but it looks like they didn't have it, which is great. Um, so we can make them block. I think first we do this. Okay, that's actually really helpful um so now we can just kill this and win oh wait no it's a miss here so now we just win yeah <laughs> this deck is amazing i'm sorry guys this is freaking cool 
Um, I'm actually not going to harp on this any longer, though. I know this is a much shorter video, but with maintenance coming and all that stuff, I want to make sure that we're off of the platform while they're doing that so we don't get interrupted. We did rank up, though. Look at look at that. That. That way. All right, guys, let's talk about this deck. All right, so an undefeated run with the Calamity combo deck. That was absolutely amazing. <laughs> I highly recommend trying this list. This is so fun. Uh, it's an absolutely janky deck, 100%, but it does seem to work pretty reliably. Uh, again, three games there, very quick, very efficient. Um, and man, just granting instant speed to body of research is stupid good. God, that's amazing. Guys, highly recommend this deck. Again, I will try and remember to um, link the uh, creator of the deck down below because I do want to make sure we credit whoever uh, created this. I apologize, I don't remember offhand, but I will look after recording. Uh, and guys, thank you so much for watching. This is an absolute just crazy silly deck, but it was great. I love this. So thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, especially to enter our giveaway. We do have one going on right now. Guys, I will see you again very soon. Thank you so much.